Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome to Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I'm going to show you how to get a load of money really quickly. So what you want to do first is you want to do the main story, which, of course, you probably would have already done. That's probably why you're here. And as you can see on the right side, it says, Congrats for finishing the main story. You now have quality for the challenge mode. What this will do is it will basically, basically give you access to a stronger difficulty. Um, and then I highly recommend you just finish the story like you would before. Um, and I was only short of maybe a gun or upgrade at the time. And what you want to do is you want to go to this location, which is the Scar Stew Debris Field. I'm just by my ship here, behind me. Um, and I highly recommend you, of course, once you've done the story on the challenge mode, um, you should only need a, a million points, if that at most. As you can see, I only need this gun right here. So if we buy this, I need, need an, another 55,000 back to put into my uh, weaponry. As you can see, there's the upgrade. And it is also level 6 of course. And obviously you guys probably know where I'm going to go. I'm going to the arena. I'm just going to show you guys a good method to get some money really quick. Uh, but this this is how I did it personally. I just did the main story, got a load of bolts. And what you want to do is you want to do all the difficulties from bronze, silver, gold. And on screen you'll see the currency is different compared to what you see if you haven't done it yet. Um, so for example, these first two... Uh, the first time you'll get a million points, and then the third one you get a 250 points, and then the other one you'll get 250 points. So you'll have plenty of uh, money by the time you've done it. Um, so let me just give you an example. Also, when you get to the change mode, like I said before, you'll get a multiplier. What that multiplier does, it will keep multiplying what you would receive normally. So for example, I still need another 55,000 um, nuts and bolts to get to max. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the gun that I just bought. Let's give you guys an example. And if you look at the bottom right corner right now, you can see that I've got times 2 next to my uh, nuts and bolts. And it also times is what I pick up. So for example, all these nuts and bolts I'm going to pick up now. As you can see, I've just gotten 3,000 just from those few kills. And the more you kill, the more that actually stacks up. Um, and if you get hit, it does reset. Which, that's it in a downfall, but for how easy you can get your nuts and bolts from doing, doing it this way, guys, it, it's super easy on this difficulty. As you can see, there's wave 1 done. And I'm already at 62,000. But if I was to use, say, a different gun, say, if I was trying my best not to get hit, I would just use some to, like, try and spray and kill a lot. Like I said before, if you do get hit there, it does reset it to number 1, so you have to do it all over again. But it's super easy, guys. As you can see on the uh, le sorry, as you can see on the right side, I've now just gotten 2,500, and I'm also max on my currency already. So yeah, guys, that's what you need to do, and then by the time you've done the, the uh, arena challenges, you'll get a boatload of money. If you're having difficulty with them, just try and upgrade your gun as best, best you can. Um, I've also got uh, tips and tricks on how to get a load of rare titanium. Um and to upgrade your guns quickly too. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to let this video play out, guys, so you can guys can see what happens when it finishes. You get loads of nuts and bolts, um, and you can keep repeating it over and over. And the more you do it there, the more it decreases. I'm not sure about the second time when you've done it, though. As I've only done them once myself. And then because I've got max nuts and bolts, you obviously won't see me get any more nuts and bolts past 9.9 .9 million. Um, but my multiplier does keep going up. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope this helps. If you could like, share, subscribe, click the bell to keep up to my content, I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope it's been informative and helped you as best as it can. I'm sure there are other ways to get currencies up, but to me, this is just the fastest method. Um, the story is like four to five hours long, and then even faster if you skip uh, all the cutscenes. The challenge mode isn't that difficult, like you would think, um, unless you go to like the highest mode for difficulty, then it's more of a challenge. Uh, which I can confirm, but it's still easy guys either way. Um, so if, if you just want to speed through it, just put it on the rookie difficulty and just speed run through it. So thank you for watching Frag, hope you've enjoyed, hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.